Hey guys, Mike here from Drift Fishing. We're down here in Auckland City tonight with a few of the boys. We're going to go out and do a bit of squid fishing. Hella dark out there at the moment, so um, it's going to be hard to film. We get same, we'll try and get some, uh, some footage of it. But uh, other than that, we're just going to go out, give it a good old crack and um, do a catch and cook later. So stick by, tune in, grab yourself a beer and have a bit of a watch and uh, we'll see you out there. You. Just got to the bros house. Uh, I'm gonna do a bit of a catch and cook today. Apparently he went squidding last night and didn't invite me, but uh, that's another story. I'll kick his ass about that later. He better feed me well anyway. So we're just here now. Oh, that'll be John, he's on his way, so let's go get him. Yo, what's up, dude? Up, How you going? Co we going? Uh, COVID shake, shake, COVID shake. There we go. Sweet. <laughs> Let's do it. Go. Do it. No, you did well, man. Yeah, got a feed. Got a feed. Sweet. A little bit of calamari. Yeah, good night then, huh? Oh, it wasn't terrible until 3 a.m. and finally drove myself home. <laughs> Oh, you did well, that's cool, man. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so we're going to do a catch and cook. Um, Mike's the chef here, so. Uh, we're going to give it a go at a, um, a Chinese style fried squid. Um, so it's going to be dusted in a rice good. flour, a bit of chili, a bit of spring onion, some lime, garlic. So, yeah, let's do a quick breakdown of these and um, we'll crack into it, eh? Sweet. Beauty. Glad you're doing that. Yeah. Bloody <laughs> inky buggers, eh? I normally do it in the water, um, you know, when, when I'm still out there and stuff on the boat, you know, I find that a bit easier. Yeah, we're not allowed on boats. Yeah, that's true. Not allowed on boats. So, um, yeah, doing it at home is always, always a good option as well. But uh, Mike's done a fair few of these, so I'd imagine he'd be pretty pretty proficient at it. Uh, done enough. Done enough. Get it all sorted in, give it a rinse under the tap. Yeah, cool, man. No, hungry as. I can't wait to see how these turn out. Dude, I'm even today, eh? Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> the benefit of uh, you know, fishing till 3 a.m. is waking up at midday. Yes, I'm a teenager. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, taking the wings off, taking the tentacles off. I'm right, just going to open up the, um, the hood itself. Now I'm just going to score these so I don't have to worry about rings. I'm just going to open it up. Nice sharp knife. I'm going to clean it out in the sink because it's all its guts and that's all being removed. Head out, don't want that. That might end up being bait, right? Yeah, it's a good bait, doesn't it? Let's quill. Clean out all the other little bits and pieces that we don't need. Yeah, yeah, no, they're fresh. Plenty in them, eh? Oh, yeah. Pretty clean looking tube. No, nah, it's the way I've normally done it, but look, I don't, I don't generally keep a lot of squid. Most of my squid, um, I tend to let them go, just catch them for a bit of fun, but um, yeah, somehow I get frowned upon for doing that by some people. Yeah, so. throwback squid. <laughs> <laughs> they're bait, man, they're bait. No, no, I'm just joking. Bait. Cool. Well, let's put them on here for now, so we're not getting all these squid and stuff on there. Do we go for the wings? Do we eat the wings? No, I'm not that desperate. Man. Not that desperate, all right. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> um, I would do this one as if I would do it a um, decent squid rings. So. Tentacles, always good chewing. Cut it off just in front of the eyes. There's beaks in there, which we're just going to pop out. 
That's ten times. Beautiful. Yeah. Favorite part. Favorite part. Right. Grab. I don't want that. You go in here. Push all the way down. Get under the quill. You can get all the guts out. Let's give it a pull. Done. Guts come out. You have underneath. The, uh, the wings, give them a bit of a pinch, and you'll separate that from the hood. Yeah, see, I think I got the uh, the fun end of the deal. Just uh, come here and have a drink while Mike does it all. Good, it dishes. What? A dishwasher, man. That's what they're for. Yo, clean the dishes! <laughs> <laughs> and keep in mind, these aren't very big squid. It's uh, early season at the moment, so um, yeah, they're not actually sizable, but probably the better size for eating. So, poke in the middle. Awkward as, but most of us know how to do this. Spin it inside out. Take all the bits and pieces off the tube. Nice clean squid tube. Sweet. Really? Oh, we'll bang out these other three and then uh, get into the rest of it. Sounds good. Oh, the squid's all broken down into its tubes and tentacles. So, um, we're just going to start slicing these up now, get them into smaller portions and some squid tubes. We're going to score up the, uh, the butterfly hoods and um, get them ready, season them, get them on there, then we'll start getting the rice, uh, rice flour and stem flour ready, flour them, and then um, start working on the other condiments to go on the wok once they get that side. So we'll get into this. Yo. Tubes, pretty straightforward really. Chop them up, get them ready. That's it. There. Make sure they're not connected in any way. Running the blade along diagonally, not putting an awful lot of pressure into them. But what this is going to help to do is uh, once they cook, they roll up, curl up, and that's when they uh, call them pineapple squid. Actually, a perfect size to do sashimi with as well. That's ready to go. These small pieces, that'll do for me. Cut them off. Yeah, scoring's a pretty, pretty good little idea, eh? Yeah, it does help some cook, um, penetrates right in, same so you can get all the, uh, the salt and pepper and stuff like that into the cracks and the flour and stuff like that, so when they do get into the oil, they just crisp right up. And then they curl up and stuff as well, Yeah, they? yeah, yeah. One way, opposite way, and there you just get this little kind of diamond effect on it, which you'll see once they get in the, uh, in the fryer. So there we go, just keep scoring the whole way along, for a fine scores, you go maybe halfway through the flesh itself. Season the flour, don't season the flour. Season the squid, then put it in the flour. I don't want to stick if you save you season the flour. So the uh, flour, flour itself is um, thinner, so it'll adhere more than the salt and pepper will. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Here we've got two different flours. We've got rice flour, standard flour, 50-50 mix. So probably uh, uh, two tablespoons or so of each, heaped. Um, the rice flour is a lot lighter, a lot fluffier, so um, it will help the squid crisp up heaps. Get our squid in there. So chuck the whole lot in, and then uh, get real technical on it and seal the bag and shake it. Oh, that's too technical. Oh, mate, you'll be surprised. <laughs> You missed the rice explosion of 2019, man. <laughs> <laughs> Mix up. Put it all in there first, otherwise you're going to dunk it all in, and it's going to rot. So get it all in the cage first, and get ready. Cheese off. Just going to do it a few pieces at a time. Don't want to overcrowd it, otherwise it all starts to stick together and it's just not the same. Got my right shield. Not too long. Nice and easy. Start to curl up a bit. 
20 seconds or so. Okay. Don't take long, less than a minute to split, yeah, especially right. with them being quite small. Once they're staking a wee bit of colour on them, they're uh, good to go. Terrible host. Ooh. <laughs> Would you like a top up, sir? I'd love a top up, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> test, test. Uh -huh. Oh, damn, bro, that's good. Good. Yeah, that's so good. Man. Awesome. Bon appetit, guys. Cheers for watching. Get the pineapple in. That's what you're looking for. So good, man. And look, if you like this bit, guys, um, we'll do some more coming up, other and other other trips and so on. Afterwards, we'll do some catch and cooks. So um, yeah, we'll do some more recipes, different species, and that sort of stuff. Yeah, stick around. Get to see the fruits of the labour. Let's do it. Let's do it.